Hello lovely people. Uh, it's Tuesday morning. I said I'd come back to you with an update on uh, what we've been through all our different projects and activities to say what's going to happen from Thursday when the lockdown uh, starts again. So um, we, th the good news is that much of what we do will continue and we've learned from the first lockdown. So the food banks, you wonderful people out there, uh, it's great that we have deputies in place now because we've got cover for you, uh, but it means that we can uh, continue to do the wonderful work you're doing out there. Indeed, at least a couple of you who are going to be working with the local council to do the shielding um, packs that are needed for those who uh, have to self-isolate. Um, so this, that work will continue, the CMA work will continue in terms of being alongside those food banks and uh, taking referrals uh, from the Let's Talk Money and, and other types of uh, promotions. Uh, the recovery course, Emma's been around talking to all the different churches. Many of them want to continue to meet within the churches, uh, but there is the online aspect as well. So the recovery course is going to crack on. Um, and indeed, much of our get off the street stuff around homelessness. So that might be around food, might be around the laundry, the helpline, uh, some of the furniture elements. Those are all going to be able to continue because we're providing a, uh, an essential service there for some of the folk who are in temporary accommodation. There are some bits of what we do which we've had to adapt. Uh, thank you for being so adaptable. So the recovery walks are going to be more about two by two uh, because we can meet with one other person for exercise, but it's really good. Hopefully those can continue. Similarly, the Smile Running Club, uh, we're going to try it out with sort of seeing if we can go again two by two, see if that works for people. Um, and the shop is obviously, the uh, doorstop shop is obviously going to have to go online so that uh, we won't have the Saturday morning meetups there. There are some some elements which we're going to have to uh, still keep working on. So that's a lot to do with the stay off the street stuff around B cars. Um, we've got to work out, uh, you know, what the council will allow us to do with the people who are in temporary accommodation. Uh, so we'll come back to you with more details on those. Um, but as you can see, most of what we're doing is going to continue. And just like in the first lockdown, I really salute you and thank you for. Uh, the way that you go about doing this stuff and helping with people. There are some general principles that we need to take on board. Um, unless you must be at a venue, then please, please work from home. Um, and as with the first lockdown, we're going to have minimal staffing of the office. So please don't go there unless you absolutely have to. And if you do go there, uh, the church are asking us to mask up as we come in. So just as you come into the building, please mask up. Uh, as till you get to the office. We'll be writing letters again as we did the first time round for all of you so that if you're out and about it says this is what you're doing, this is the, the organisation you work for <clears throat> and that you're, you are in a sense an essential key worker so that you'll have those in your hand. And obviously from our perspective as a team we'll continue to meet on a Monday morning on Zoom and on a Thursday afternoon uh, to provide us with just a, a touch point during the week and to pray for each other. And we're going to ask Nigel and Jane Lloyd to join those. They're going to be able to join from next week. Uh, they're our pastoral support team and they'll introduce themselves. So that if any of you haven't met them, there's a chance if you need to talk to somebody outside of work, then um, they'll be there to help you with that. And of course, our trustees are still around and we'll, uh, we'll give you the, the links to them as well if you want to talk to them. Um, but before all of that, we're really hoping that we'll see you at the beach day tomorrow. I know many of you are able to come, which is lovely. Um, I'll send a little note about how we're going to organise that because we still need to do that in sixes and uh, just keep ourselves organised. But um, there's a few little treats that we're going to be able to do there. Um, and then finally, I just want to say thank you. Thank you that you are taking on the challenge of these next of the next month and the next days with such uh, such uh, brilliance and such perseverance. Um, yesterday, we at the, on the Zoom call, we we were talking about um, about leaves and the beautiful things that are around us. And as I was coming in from my walk this morning, I where's the camera? <laughs> there it is. Um, I found this little beauty on the bottom of my shoe as I walked in the door, and it reminded me that there are. There are little things out there which can, are really important for us to notice, those moments of wonder uh, about our day. Um, it also reminded me, there's a verse in, in the New Testament which says, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. You may not feel all guns blazing today, you may be a little bit worried about stuff, that's okay. But actually, God's grace is sufficient for you today, and you're going to be able to do all that you need to do. Keep going. Talk if you need to talk, 
But uh, thank you again for all that you're going to be doing and we'll keep in touch.